Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video on the Spiel Healy box. And now what I want to show you in this video is the basic operation of the Spiel Healy box in order to set the parameters of X of such um, BSCs which run on Spiel Healy code. Just as a brief reminder where we are, here the scheme of the whole concept and what we are going to do is now to talk about this part of the scheme where we interact via keys and the display with our um, BSC. Okay, the basic operation is very simple. What you need is a Spiel Healy box, you need an, an, an BSC and of course a LiPo to power up everything. And the thing is now very simple. You just connect your BSC um, to the Leap, uh, to the BL Healy box. That's done here. And then as a next step, you just power up everything and you want to watch the display now, what's going to happen. Et voila, we are connected to the BSC box and you can read off already the name I have given my BSC here. Now with these keys you can browse through the menus and here with this key you're going forward and here you're going backwards. So let's go forward and you can see that you have all these parameters available here and here you can go backwards of course. And well, let's go through the whole options which are available. All, everything is available. And of course you have the possibility to write the parameters to your BSC as well as to read them back if you wanted to do so. Now to show that this write is actually working, we go to some parameter, for example this one, and just modify it. It's done with these two keys here and set it for example to 8. Then we go to write and in order to uh, initiate that you first press here to get it to yes and then you hold down this key for two seconds and then the writing is done. In order to show you that really ha something has been written to your PC, we just unplug everything and reconnect and go to our menu and you can see that this parameter here indeed has been changed to this new value 8. So this you could repeat now as often as you wanted to do now. So that's really working here. Huh? Now another thing is that there is a submenu and you can go get into the submenu by holding down this key for two seconds and that you in the submenu is shown here by this, this, this indicator here. And in the submenu you can get the basic parameters of your PC, what the microcontroller is, uh, what type of PC uh, this is, and then of course the type, uh, the revision and the mode of the BL Healy code which you have installed. In order to get back you hold down this key again for two seconds and you're back in the main menu. Now another thing I want to show you is what's actually happening if a connection is not established at power up. And in order to simulate that I just disconnect this, this plug here and now we redo everything. Uh, I power up Zuck. and what you will see now is that this box tries to establish a connection and if it doesn't find a connection over, after 10 seconds that's now when it enters a particular uh, menu which you could call the no connection menu if you wanted to and it's indicated by this, uh, this signal over here. Here you have some basic uh, options available which are all empty because there had been no successful connection and in particular you have of course again the read option. Now you can do a read if you wanted if you would do it now with, with this connection not working when it just would tell you that it failed, that's good. Um, but you also can get the connection right here and redo this read. And then you will see that it's successful. You get the name of your device and all the options which are available, you can now modify. Okay, so this was basically everything you need to know about the operation of this BL Healy box. And I hope you have seen that it's actually quite simple to use it. And so we can go on in the next video to discuss the interaction 
of the BL Healy box and the BSC with a PC. So, see you in a few seconds.